today we will discuss a new topic that is phase transfer catalysis this is a topic coming under your substitution reaction so phase transfer catalysis um, this is um, a term which involves uh, the um, passage or uh, movement of immiscible reagents uh, together by addition of some catalyst. So, here we are using quaternary ammonium salts, quaternary ammonium salts as phase transfer catalyst. This quaternary ammonium salts are used as phase transfer catalyst. Um, so, why, uh, what is the use of this uh, phase transfer catalyst? Uh, for example, um, our nucleophiles, nucleophiles, nucleophile is one reagent, this nucleophiles, they are uh, soluble in uh, water based or aqueous phase, aqueous phase, they are soluble in aqueous solvents, so uh, they are in aqueous phase. Uh, but this nucleophile, this should react with our substrate that is alkyl halide. Alkyl halides, um, this is alkyl halides. So, these are soluble in organic phases, organic phases. Uh, for example, uh, benzene, chloroform, uh, such type of organic phases. So, both these nucleophile um, and this alkyl halides, they are soluble in different phases. So, both these are immiscible in nature, these both are immiscible. So, the nucleophile is in aqueous phase and alkyl halide is in organic phase. So, both are immiscible. Then how this nucleophile react with uh, this alkyl halide? It is impossible. Here comes the role of this phase transfer catalyst such as quaternary ammonium salt. Uh, so, uh, we will dissolve nucleophile in a water based or aqueous based uh, solvent and alkyl halides or another substrate in organic phase. And and then we will add this phase transfer catalyst uh, to both of this, both of this medium uh, and this will help in the transfer of nucleophile uh, or uh, one reagent from one phase to another uh, phase and uh, we will get the product. Then next we will move on to its mechanism, how this will happen. We will discuss how this will happen. Uh, so, uh, there are two phases that is aqueous phase, this is the interface that is um, the phase between aqueous phase and organic phase, this is the interface, um, this is the interface. So, what will happen? Uh, this first I will write the equation and later I will explain it. So, we can explain the mechanism uh, using uh, this equation. Um, so, this quaternary ammonium salts, this quaternary ammonium salts first will uh, combine with alkyl halide, this quaternary ammonium salts first combine with alkyl halide uh, and we will get Ry. Here this X alkyl halide halogen is substituted with this uh, Y and uh, here again QX will, uh, will be obtained that is uh, this interchange of uh, atoms will occur and this will uh, travel to the next phase that is QX will uh, go to um, organ aqueous phase. And this QX again combines with the free halide ion and we will get QY uh, and this halogen ion is uh, again uh, eliminated. And this will, uh, this is capable of this quaternary ammonium salt is capable of um, 
moving between the uh, interface or they are they can move from aqueous phase to organic phase. Uh, so, quaternary ammonium salts or phase transfer catalyst they are capable of moving from one phase to another. So, what we will do we will combine uh, this um, uh, alkyl halide as well as uh, this nucleophile with this quaternary ammonium salts and uh, we will uh, pass this ions through this interface. So, first this quaternary ammonium salts will bind with uh, this quaternary ammonium salts will bind with uh, a new, uh, leaving group Y minus. Uh, then QY then treated with alkyl halide uh, the interchange of atoms will occur and we will get RY and QH. This QH is capable of transferring from one that is this quaternary group. Uh, they will transfer uh, through the interface and will again combines with the leaving group and this QY is again regenerated. Uh, so, this is a cyclic process um, we can set um, separate our product R y is our product. So, we can uh, separate our product uh, here ok that is all about uh, phase transfer catalysis.